Hey guys, what's going on? This is my HD2 and others. Let's focus our camera here so you can see the phone. Today we're gonna be reviewing the top my top three favorite launchers for Android. So number one is gonna be or number three is gonna be uh, where is it? Launcher 8. Atom Launcher is gonna be in the second place. So Launcher 8 is basically a uh, could you cancel and it's basically a mimic uh, launcher of Windows 8, Windows Phone 8, and um, the screen scrolling is not this slow. I'm recording with my camera at 1920 by 1080, and this camera is only limited to record at 20 frames per second when I'm recording at 1920 by 1080. So that's why everything seems choppy. Just to let you guys know, it's not actually this choppy when I'm, you know, in when I'm actually doing the transitions and stuff just so that you guys know I'm only using the 1080p setting so you can you guys can see the clarity better than 720p anyways uh, basically mimics you know um, uh, Windows Phone 8 very simple very nice and I like the Windows Phone 8 interface it's one of my favorites um, I just don't really use it as my daily driver because it's not really uh, you know it's not really usable too much it's kinda it's not very smooth on my phone um, like it's not 60 frames per second and I when I uh, when I pick up a Windows phone I really like that 60 frames per second look you know it's everything's just so smooth with this it's it's smooth but it's like 30 frames per second smooth it's not 60 frames per second smooth and I just don't like that but it's nice you can change the color of uh, the theme you know everything just like with the real uh, Windows Phone 8 phone you can change it to red uh, anything it's really nice really intuitive and you can even make it uh, pretty much any color you want you can click custom color just make it any color you want just the full spectrum just anything it's really nice alright the second launcher we're gonna take a look at is Atom Launcher and what I like about Atom Launcher is everything is extremely simple to use. And this is not my first time downloading these, of course. It's I mean, it is on like right now because I just want to show you guys what it's like to get into the app first. Um, but I have downloaded these before and I have used these before just to let you guys know. So Atom Launcher feature one, easy to manage, instantly create, yeah, all that stuff, very cool. We're going to start Atom Launcher. Now, like I said, what I like about this launcher, copy home screen, uh, no, is that it's super, super, oh, whoops, I should have actually said yes, because I wanted, I want all the home screen stuff on here. Ah. Okay, um, how can I do that? <laughs> Anyways, okay, so I don't have any icons in the front here, but as you can see, it's just so simple, it's so nice. The only thing I don't like about it is it's not very smooth on my phone. Um, oops, let's go back here. It's just a little, little, you know, choppy. And I don't like that choppiness, especially in this menu. It's a, you can see the choppiness. It's, I don't like it very much. But anyways, let's cut, talk a little bit about this launcher. Let's go back. You can home press and you have this nice little simple um notification bar that tells you you can go to shortcuts I'm not sure it's kind of bright on this camera but uh, hopefully you guys can see it it says shortcuts widgets wallpapers folders and then the add a menu you can create create uh, theme settings and then you can go to like atom widgets atom store and launcher settings so let's create a folder here and add a app add a app to the folder so let's add a game to the folder and then maybe another game and you know this is my games folder I'm just gonna add all games to this folder and I'm gonna click OK and this is uh, gonna be my folder for games and we can move it wherever we want and then we can long press again uh, and click of widget maybe we'll, we want a widget here and we can pick uh, we can pick whatever we want so let's uh, pick a nice go weather widget from go weather of course and we have that over there then we can put maybe uh, you know a few icons I mean wallpapers 
Or we could uh, go ahead and click some shortcuts for a uh, for something like direct dial. And we can, you know, click anybody for direct redialing them. Very nice. Just like, you know, it's like any other launcher. It just, I, I really like the look of it because it's so simple looking. I mean, I imagine iOS 7 looking like this because it just looks so good. So, that's pretty and much why I like this. number one launcher, uh, launcher, you probably have heard of it, is going to be Next Launcher. It's one of the most popular launchers ever. And I love this launcher because it's super smooth. The transitions are extremely smooth. Of course, the camera can't uh, display that because, you know, it's recording at 20 frames per second. But let me tell you, it's extremely smooth. Everything is nice. But the thing I like about this launcher is because it's so unique. Every time you move from a home screen to home screen, all the widgets and all the icons just kind of move around. Also, if you want to move your icons you can move them wherever you want you, you don't have like a little grid where you have to put them specifically in that little grid i can put them on top of things like that i can put them anywhere i can customize this home screen as you know best as i want this is how uh, i would like my launcher to be you also have this little slider here you can just go through home screens really really fast amazing so down here you can uh of course add any icons so I can even add more and more and more I can I can just keep adding as much icons as I want but of course you're limited to an amount that you can add so see you can add at least one two three four five six seven eight you can add eight icons on dock so that's nice and the home screen or the menu uh, screen is also nice because you get this nice tr uh, 3D transition effect and it's just very unique and very nice. I really love this, you know, launcher. This is my daily driver right here. Everything is fast. It's even faster than, I don't know, the, using the phone itself, like the original Samsung launcher that it came with, you know you know Samsung proprietary launcher it's even faster than that I don't know how but it is and it's cool you can uh, double I mean you can uh, what's that called long press the home screen and you have these nice this like nice 3d effect and you can click on you know a widget if I want to click a widget calendar or actually I already put a calendar there oh let's see I want a system widget so whoops so let's go back there and you just click on it it's loading and we'll just pick something uh, mm, digital clock oops gotta plug in my phone there and there we have it a digital clock very nice you can also add uh, anything so you can even download different themes for this launcher very nice you got wallpapers widgets and applications so you can create a folder also games whatever you want and just you know just like the other launcher launcher you can just select which games you want in there and just click OK and there's your games once you click it opens it up very nice so that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching peace out make sure to subscribe to my channel and like my videos it really supports or helps me out and thank you guys for watching. Peace out.